Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach on the 27th of January 2013. And I'm looking at the Sunday Times for people like Fireman Rich, Peter Donegan and his friend Damian Mully, and John P. Boy. I used to not do this the last few weeks because I was out of time, but hey, look, important news, including in the middle of the Sunday Times, parents calling for the burger chain to go. Protesting against McDonald's near schools, Gabrielle Monahan has a story. It's an old-time story, but hey, on and on it goes with this time some research to back up that when children are asked if they've had a fizzy drink in the past 24 hours, they were 10 times more likely to have done so if there was a McDonald's near their school. It's too hard to ignore McDonald's and the Golden Arches. Our 18-month-old has uh, already recognizes it. And you know... Inside Sunny Times is a fix to some of this problem, like good bikes for kids. Get into cycling, the Sunday Times says. All the advice you need to get fit on your bike. You know what? I need to do this. And if uh, folks over on Audioboot.fm are listening to me, that'd be Dean Reed or Kogan Chris, Daylight Gambler, get my ass on the bike. And I even take it along with me on a river cruise. The traveler section of the Sunday Times points out very nice river cruises. Brakes from only... 1,569 euro. I'd like to do that. Take your bike along. There's a pep up a pro charge for PA. Siobhan McGuire says just 12% of teenagers are meeting health requirements or health guidelines that recommend an hour of exercise daily. 10% of adolescents get the recommended 120 minutes of PE a week. Long way to go then. But you know, nobody really cares in Ireland, as Harry Leach points out. The fatter we get, the less likely we are to notice it. Speaking among uh, or a survey with Irish people, Irish people are among the heaviest in Europe. And we here in Ireland undressed our weight significantly more than we did a decade ago. Front of the Sunday Times, big article, uh, more about burgers. The horse burger firm. Oh, that would be Larry Goodman's meat processing plant. It's manufactured burgers which showed that DNA contamination at the point of, um, of packing at a plant was from a product from Poland. One Tesco burger was found to have 29.1% horse meat. You used to eat horses in, in Germany, but you don't do that here. It's a fat cut, trims, and de-sinewed meats problem. So you're eating burgers? We buy our burgers from our craft butcher, and things go better for us in our belly. Nothing wrong with horse, though, but it's on the labeling. Hey, or have a good apple. Simon Duke says Apple was avoiding tax on $1 billion a week, stashing away 740 million euro a week beyond the reach of the American tax man. How to do it? It's a cash pile that Apple can shield locally, legally, colossal 94 billion euro worth of cash is sitting somewhere. $94 billion worth of uh, cash Apple has. Security fears are prompting a ban on free call apps for civil servants, writes Vinnie O'Dowd. The Department of Foreign Affairs in Ireland has banned civil servants from WhatsApp and Viber. We use Viber because of potential security risks. Sometimes the people behind the Viber or behind those apps say everything's encrypted, but it looks like the Department of Foreign Affairs doesn't believe that. So they're banning it. Of course, Blackberries have died, as far as uh, everybody knows. Although a new Blackberry OS 10's out, Soon. Fees are a real barrier to freedom of information in Ireland. Mark Ty says Ireland is ranked 43rd out of 93 countries for the effectiveness of freedom of information. Hmm. Study was done by the Center for Law and Democracy. There it is. Top of the rating scale Serbia, then India, Slovenia, Liberia. 44. Ireland. Yeah, you know, it, a lot of the people I listen to in civil service. I think it's a pain to serve freedom of information requests. Science is suddenly cool. Anno D has a story about a highly acclaimed science gallery on Dublin's Pierce Street. It's been bringing all kinds of cutting-edge developments in science, technology, and the arts to public since 2008. And now, the team behind the gallery plans to replicate the model in other countries. They got started with a handy handout. I think it was a $1 million euro handout from Google in December 2011 to set it up. And now they're going around the world with the idea. Racing away from Ireland is Johnny Sexton. Big move to France. 
Racing Metro at 750,000 euro a season. That's a million dollars a season for an American. The point has been opened now. The new a new export route has been opened for Irish rugby players. And uh, well, Irish rugby is probably going to pay as a result. Too high of a payback rate for the Aviva Stadium is what's causing it. Not enough cash for the Irish rugby union to pay. Cash for the politicians? Well, this isn't actually a story about that. It ends my little presentation here. Stephen O'Brien says the disgraced Fianna Fáil party has now bounced back. And its leader, Michal Martin, 48% approval rating. But all that's going to vaporize for the opposition if the government, current government, can secure relief from the country's massive debt. Massive debt burden would be a big 3 billion euro payout in March, the end of March, which has to go to the European Central Bank. And if they can avoid that, I'll bet the government will give nice, happy copy support from people. I've got to do stuff with my iPod Touch, with an iPad, and with my biodynamic mic this week. You can catch up with all that stuff at audioboot.fm. You may be watching this on youtube.com or following my simple tweets. Guess where? At twitter.com. I'm Bernie, the American in Ireland's and Thanks for listening, and bye for now.